Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to uh, summertime in Paso Robles. I have my AC on. It's 100 degrees out. But I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing you all and starting up uh, four, four sessions of uh, painting. It will be real fun for uh, all of us, I hope. Anyway, the first project, the um, one to kind of get us all started together, especially those of you that haven't um, done this with me before, um, I want to uh, go over a little bit um, and just kind of show you the brushes that, um, that I was talking about. Um, uh, uh, in the materials list, I've got um, um, really nice bristle brushes, um, and about uh, let's see, these are eights. This is a six and an eight. That's about the right size. Um, and then I just uh, ordered these, and I really like these. These are soft. They're simply Simmons flats. Uh, this is a six and a ten. Gives you some variety. Um, and then, of course, a little uh, stumpy brush that you can draw with. So anyway, those are the brushes. And um, for this first project, um, I picked this wonderful calf that I spotted when we were driving through Texas last fall. Um, uh, she, she or he was in a, a multicolored herd. And I really love the way um, the, little, uh, the other calves are peeking over her backside. So, um, what I chose to do was to make a vertical format. Um, you guys can work on a 1216. Um, that a 1216 ratio would be a three to four ratio. And you need to know that when you begin to uh, take a look at the photograph and crop it. Um, so what I did um, was I made um, two little angles and uh, taped them over the photo drew the center point of, of with pencil on the photo once I figured out what the uh, right ratio was going to be. And uh, I'm going to be working on a bigger one. It's easier for us with the class for you guys to see what I'm doing. But um, this is the center point of this canvas. Same here. And so um, when I'm uh, enlarging something, oftentimes I'll uh, make a grid on it like this and uh, blow it up that way. Um, but the main idea that's here is the shapes are pretty simple. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard for you to do. I draw it in with a, um, in this case, a light uh, burnt sienna and uh, just place things. I think I might have gotten the calf's face a little bit too narrow. But uh, I can see that now as I stood back. But anyway, the idea is that I want you to draw it on. I don't want you to project it unless you're absolutely uh, insecure about your drawing ability. It's good for you to um, say, okay, where, uh, where does the top of that ear align in that particular quadrant? Uh, and figure it out for yourselves. Uh, that it's, it, once you've done it a few times, you'll kind of get it. it uh, it's just a mechanical uh, technique that really works well. And, and and then you get the big shapes and anyway. Um, so I'd like you to do that. Draw it on there um, and then tone the canvas with a burnt sienna. So you'll, you'll want to darken this before you put a tone over it. Um, but we're going to paint onto a, um, a burnt sienna color because this beautiful uh, array of uh, peaches and um, pinks and oh my gosh, a wonderful yellow ochre down in here. Uh, it's going to be super fun to do. So uh, that uh, that's really uh, the reason that I have uh, picked this particular subject. Is it will it will stretch you a little bit in uh, looking for value and value in whites and warmth warmth and whites, uh, beautiful calf. So uh, anyway, you will need a good photograph uh, from the reference that I'm providing online. Um, as far as the colors that you're gonna want, um, it's pretty simple this time. Um, titanium white, cad yellow light, um, yellow ochre, K2, 
cadmium orange, cadmium red light, burnt sienna, and then I'm going to uh, put in an outlier, uh, thallo rose, because the ears are so wonderful and pink, and you might uh, be uh, finding that useful. Then our old standby, alizarin crimson, and ultramarine blue, and cerulean blue. So uh, for me, this is a light uh, array. I think there's only 10 colors this time. So uh, anyway, I hope that helps um, so that when we meet on Friday at 10 via Zoom, um, please have your canvas toned, like I said, in a burnt sienna wash with this drawing in place. And also have your colors laid out so that we can all kind of move along together. And I will uh, guide you through mixing these different colors to make the calf um, read. Um, let's see, what else to tell you about this? Um, I don't know. That, that's probably about it. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited about this project. I've always wanted to paint a white calf, so here we go. Thank you for the opportunity, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.